A key piece that's going to follow us through a lot of linear algebra is what's called elementary row operations, and they are used to manipulate a systems of equations. So if I look at this system, there's a couple things that I can do in order to solve using what we would call elimination. And they're called row operations. So the first thing I can do is I can multiply an equation by a non-zero constant. So I can multiply this first equation by two or four or whatever. And it's essentially the same thing. So I could say 12x minus 16y equals 60. That's the same equation. If we think about it as a line, it's the same line. If we think about it as a vector, it's the same vector, just longer. It's just four times the length of that vector. Same thing for this one. I can multiply it by three. So 12x plus 15y equals negative 33. Same equation, it's the same line. It's the same vector, it's just longer. I'm just scaling my vectors. Another thing I can do, so that's my first row operation. Another thing I can do is I can swap my equations. So this system is equivalent to this system. 12x plus 15y equals negative 33. 12x minus 16y equals 60. It's the same, same system of equations. They're just in different locations. That's the second thing I can do. Third thing I can do is I can replace an equation by adding it to another equation. So I can essentially add my equations together or subtract either one. Subtraction is just multiplying by a negative one um, and get another equation. So I can add these together or subtract these together. So 12 minus 12 gives me zero. 15 um, plus 16 gives me 31y and negative 33 minus 60 gives me negative 93. This essentially gives me another system. So I'm saying that 12x plus 15y equals negative 33. And now rather than saying this is my second equation in my system, I'm saying this is 31y equals negative 93. So it's not really another system. It's just a different set of equations that represents the same system. This one's much easier to solve. This ear easily tells me that y equals negative 3. And if I plug in y equals negative 3 to either this equation or my original equation, I can solve for x, which would give me a 1. Those are the three things I can do. I can multiply an equation by a non-zero constant. I can swap equations, just have them change places. And I can replace an equation by adding it to another equation. Turns out we can do the same exact things in our matrix form to solve our equations. So let me demonstrate it. So typically what we do is we don't actually write our full system like this. We do what's called augmented matrix or we write what's called our augmented matrix where it doesn't really matter what X is. Now, all I care about is what are my coefficients in A and what are my constants in B. Notice when I multiplied by a constant, I multiplied the right hand side and the left hand side. When I added things together, I multiplied the, or I added the right hand side and the left hand side. So that's why we only really care about the, the constants and the coefficients. So we can write augmented matrix. So 3, negative 4, 4, 5, and then my B values, 15, negative 11. Generally, to keep those two separate, we draw a line here that just indicates that this side is A and this side is B. It's just shorthand in order for writing our system of equations. Now I'm going to do the same exact things that I did to these num equations up here to this matrix. So I'm going to multiply this row by 4. I'm going to multiply this row by 3. This is going to give me 12, negative 16 and negative or positive 60. Uh, 12, 15, and negative 33. Note this matrix here is represented by this. It's that same matrix. If I swap these two rows, I get 12, 15, negative 33, 12, negative 16, and 60. 
which is what I got when I swapped the two rows here. It's the same form, just, or it's the same set of uh, equations. It's just now in my matrix form. And I can also add my two rows together or subtract my two rows together, replacing my second row. So the first row doesn't change. Now I'm going to replace this second row by subtracting the two. So 0, 31, and negative 93, which is what I got here. So I just did the same exact steps as I did here for elimination. Just now I did it in matrix form. So anything we would do to our equations, I can just do to my rows. It just so happens my rows aren't cluttered with my unknowns. Once I get it to here, I can go ahead and I know that this is really 31y equals negative 93. I know in my brain that this is what this equation is. And I know in my brain that this is this equation, 12x plus 15y equals negative 33. So now I know I can solve for y, it's going to be negative 3, and I can solve for x, which, be, which would be 1. And so these are our three core things that we are going to do over and over and over again. Multiply an equation by a row, or multiply a row by a constant, a non-zero constant. Uh, switch rows in my matrix, which is useful sometimes. And then replace an equation or a row by adding it to another row. This is my elimination step. And we are going to do this over and 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 over again in this class until you are sick and tired of it.